What we're going to look at here is adding contrast because obviously this needs some contrast. And then we're going to add some vibrancy to these yellows and really get these colors to pop. Uh, and then again, we're going to draw the viewer's attention to the segments of the leaf that we want them to see. This one is going to be a little bit more uh, advanced, but we're going to combine some things that we already talked about earlier. So the very first thing I want to do in, in this particular case is bring my exposure down. Now, I think I had good exposure, but because I'm going to be adding in some uh, elements, I want to make sure that I have a good base to boost my image from. So brought down the exposure and I added in some black. Now, obviously, I told you if you're going to crush the blacks a little bit, you want to bring your whites up. Uh, about 50%, but in this image, it's just not working very well for that. So I'm going to bring it up pretty much even. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is open up the shadows just a little bit. And that's going to brighten the image and really help me with seeing the elements in which I want to, uh, overexposed. I'm really going to be some sort of uh, adding localized contrast to the lines. Now, again, I don't really care for using this contrast slider because we're going to add contrast in a very different way for this image. All right. So I'm going to bring up my vibrance and I'm going to saturate it just a little bit here in the develop module. Now we're going to go over to the effects module, add a filter. Very first thing that I want to do with this is a color adjustment. And I want to adjust the color of this leaf. One of the cool things about the on one photo raw is if I want to adjust the hue of a particular color, I can click this adjust uh, hue eyedropper, come over to the photo, click on it, and then drag this over in either direction. And as you can see, it's really adjusting uh, the color tonality of these particular or of this leaf. All right. Now, I don't want to adjust it too far, but I do want the leaf to be just a little bit more yellow uh, and less orange. All right. Make it believable. And then, of course, I'm going to saturate it just a tad. And I will play around. Nope, I think I want to brighten it. Yeah, we'll brighten the leaf. So before the color adjustment and after the color adjustment, I'm getting more of a yellow leaf. And that's what I was going for. Now, the next filter that we're going to add is a curves filter. This is one of my favorite ways to apply contrast to an image. Now, inside of the defaults, there are a few ways of getting some contrast. There's the contrast boost, which, you know, I think that that's a bit much. And you can probably just dial that back off and on. I don't really care for that, so let's reset it. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is bring in my blacks a little bit. I'll make a point on my midtones and I will make a point about there. I think that is really going to do it for me. And then I'll bring in some highlight tones. Wonder. Nope, I can leave those there. And this is a very nice, dark, uh, contrasted image for me. This is what I like. I initially made the image uh, more dark than it needed to be. So I'm going to bring up the exposure again. Come back to the effects tab, add my last filter to this, and that's going to be dynamic contrast. And as you can see, just by adding that, it instantly makes this leaf pop. 
I don't need the dynamic contrast on this back leaf. So what I'm going to do is click on my mask. I'm going to invert the mask that uh, covers it in black and pretty much hides it from everywhere except for where you paint it in. Next thing I'm going to do is grab my masking brush and I'm just going to drop a radial filter or uh, radial adjustment, if you will, onto the leaf. And I'm going to make it roughly the size of the leaf. And then I will invert that. So now the adjustment, as you can see, is only affecting the leaf. This is a really powerful way of getting the adjustments exactly where you want them to be on your photos. We'll go ahead and look at the before and after. Before, it was dull. The leaf didn't have very much life to it. And after, it's a little bit more yellow. Uh, this could stand to use some noise reduction, but that's not what I'm going to do in this particular image. Uh, but you can see there's some color noise in the background here that can be adjusted. Mm -hmm.